Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support the brand, it's inspired by dreams. Shop, and we have everything to dress outside of the box. Preppy streetwear. Okay, today's episode, I wanted to bring this to you. It's an eye opener. I want to open your minds, like I told you. These videos that I'm about to drop, this is all for your benefit. So whoever finds it, benefits from it. Who doesn't, should have tuned in. This one, jobs and corporations, they don't care about their workers. All they care about is fattening their pockets. That's a fact. I worked in a corporation job. And all I can say is, you have to figure things out on your own to realize how you can be successful in these times today. And your new hustle is not gonna be something somebody's telling you on YouTube that everybody could just do and then make money. Because if they was making so much money, why would they tell you? That's a fact. Facts, facts. Think about it. They're not honest and honest enough in their videos to be honest enough in something that they want you to buy. So you have to pay attention. So in these particular videos, you get to hear different people's point of views on how it works and these are the things that you have to take for yourself and when you go to your job you test it out and see if these things are happening to you and if so get out of there as quick as you can become an entrepreneur find the things you love because the economy is crumbling it's genius let's get it Companies are having a real tough time right now with employees not trusting them, and it makes complete sense. Think about how many companies have said that they were going to have people work remotely forever, and then recently have come back and said, you need to be in the office five days a week. How many of these companies during the interview process have said things like, we really want to invest in employees long term, or we really care about our employees and treat them like family, and then suddenly a few months into employment, you're getting an email with HRCC'd on there and you're being laid off with hundreds of other people. You then have fellow recruiters running around saying, yeah, we're super interested in you and then ghosting people. I mean, I think if we're all honest with ourselves, none of us really believe that anyone in these companies is telling the truth. It's not to say that everybody in these companies are bad people. It's just, I think we've come to the realization that companies care about one thing and it's not their employees. It is 100% all about the bottom line and profit. Maybe we've been naive over the past couple of years, but so many companies have come out there with messages saying that they care about inclusion, they care about being committed to their employees, and then those same companies lay people off in some of the most inhuman ways possible. The truth is that it goes both ways. Company loyalty has completely died in 2024. Tell me something a job has taught you that you will never ever forget no matter what. My last corporate job taught me that these large corporations will view your overworking and your immense sacrifice of your mental and physical well-being as a good thing. Story time. My last corporate job was such a high stress environment. It was an ongoing joke that in order to work there, you had to have some kind of addiction and they weren't joking. That ain't even the example I have. I had a coworker who was in her late 40s, early 50s and suffered a heart attack. The heart attack was stress induced caused by the job and they incur all i gotta say people are catching on i'm happy and this is why i make the videos i make to just pull the covers over the people that's so deceiver deceiving in this world today let's get it I urged her to take a nice hiatus to rest her body since she had a whole heart attack but she didn't want to fall behind on her work so she returned back to work the next week that wasn't even the worst part. The company threw her a welcome back party with donuts and juice in the break room. And all the supervisors and managers were saying crazy ass shit like, Samantha's love for the job is an indication of how much of a good employee she is and how dedicated she is to doing her job. And y'all wonder why I refuse to work for anybody else again. Be careful trusting your company's doctor after a work injury. Hey Tom. Yo. What if the company doctor tells me I'm fine after my work injury, but I don't feel fine? Well, you need a lawyer, number one, and it's time for a second opinion. What you have to understand is the company doctor wants business from that employer or that insurance company. And the happier they keep them, the more likely they are to stay on that designated list of providers. So the incentive isn't necessarily to help you. But the doctor at your job 
they're there for the job. They're not there for you. They're just there to just patch you up so you can get back into where you got to go and get back to work. You. The incentive is to keep the insurance carrier happy. So make sure you talk to a lawyer right away and get a second opinion. Here's why you should not trust a company's value statement. I'm HR Bria P, HR leader and consultant with 10 plus years of experience in tech. You should pay far less attention to a company's value statements and pay way more attention to their actions. If you're interviewing with a company and want to know how to get a feel for their culture, you should ask questions like, can you share more about the last person on the team that was promoted? What did they do that made them stand apart from everyone else? What did they do to be rewarded with a promotion? In what ways do you recognize employees on your team? How do team members collaborate with each other in this company? And if you're internal to a company, it's gonna be much easier for you. If you're internal to a company and wanna know what they truly value, pay attention to who gets promoted, rewarded, and let go. Stay vigilant out there, y'all. So let me tell you something I learned a long time ago that I think more people need to keep in mind as you look at apartments, as you start looking at jobs, all these things. And this is, don't trust any reviews for any company that you... And you also got to think, is this job that I'm working at going to benefit my future or is it just benefiting me now? And if it's benefiting me just for now, then you have to give it just for now energy. If it's benefiting you for the future, that's when you give it your all because it's more important. Don't already know. I remember I lived in this one apartment complex and I got really close to one of the uh, front desk workers of the apartment complex. And he told me that a lot of the times, as part of their job functions, they are required to go onto the apartment complex and review it themselves. Like, they leave reviews saying, oh, it's so nice, the staff is great, blah, blah, blah. And that, what, is read by people looking at the apartment complex. The reason I bring this up is because Glassdoor is another great example. You know, a lot of people, when they first sign up for Glassdoor, they are looking to find out salary ranges, reviews of companies, things for a job that they are currently applying to. And I often find that what you have to do is review a company before you can do it. So I logged in and uh, I reviewed a company I was working for a couple years ago. And let me tell you, this company was off. Their management was terrible. And I mean like, she, this manager would say one thing to me in an email and then act like she never said it when she was pulled in front of HR. So I had to pull receipts nonstop at this lady. And she would convert it into, well, that's not what I meant. Ridiculous. Anyway, the point is, is that I get alerts still on Glassdoor whenever somebody posts a new review about this. And every single review that has been on there has been, this management sucks. The pay is fine, but they really need to get these managers in training. But all of a sudden today, it's great management. The only problem with this job is there's not enough roles. Corporate politics is absolutely annoying, but I feel like once you realize... Now, before we get into this one, this goes for anybody that have ever worked in corporate or any type of big company. If you don't know these tips, then you're never going to move up in the company no matter how much experience or how much you think you're bringing to the company these are the types of ways you can excel in certain places and maneuver around by just using your brains and how to work to your advantage let's check it out what she's saying guys that excelling in any work environment is all about trust it becomes that much easier what i do is find the person who has the highest amount of authority and honestly you don't have to try too hard to find this person they're gonna let you know i've literally had people tell me oh yeah i have the ceo in my back pocket once you identify this person it's very important for you to understand how they work is this someone that you have to give compliments every once in a while is this someone who just likes to hear themselves talk once you understand who that person is you feed into what they need for example if it's someone who likes to hear themselves talk i just let them talk themselves to death they appreciate this after a couple months of you feeding into whatever it is that they like i promise you they will start to trust you a lot more than anybody else once you've earned this person's trust because they have the highest amount of authority within the organization you won't ever have to worry about your job again you won't have to worry about a performance review you won't have to worry about a salary raise or increase and if they leave the organization i promise you they will take you with them finding this one person okay i promise is a lot easier than trying to schmooze with every single person in the organization. This has made being in corporate so much more easy and peaceful. 
When it comes to you and benefiting yourself, your family, and the people around you, your loved ones, a lot of these corporations, they don't really care for you. You have to know how to take your skills and make it work for yourself in these times. Because trust me out there, how many times you have just scrolled across a product that you might have probably be interested in, or you might have been interested in, but you just said to yourself, you know what? I don't trust these people with my information, just sending them my address and sending them, you know, information just to buy this product. It's not worth it. And that's what's have been going on as far as social media and in these times, because people are scamming people and you have to build up trust before anything. They're the biggest things that run banks. The world is built off of trust. So once people start catching on to all the tricks, you can never win their trust again. You guys let me know what you think. Until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. And I'm not just doing it for views, I'm giving you all the information.